Welcome to the video. Today I'm going to show you this dish called uh, Kung Pao Chicken. It's looking like this. I'm going to give you a close-up look. Hi, this is a close-up look uh, of Kung Pao Chicken. As you can see, uh, the majority of the dish is the chicken uh, cubes, like uh, pieces from the chicken breast. And then on top is uh, some roasted peanuts. If you're allergic to, uh, let us know. And um, there's uh, onion pieces and uh, also uh, those kind of green pepper pieces. That's pretty much it. And uh, also this little guy, the uh, carrots, it's for coloring. Just give, give you some color to see. <laughs> so that's it. Okay, let's begin. This is the Kung Pao chicken, very famous one. I guess it's very well known in North America, this Kung Pao chicken. It's basically named like uh, named after like, uh, I guess it's Dynasty Qing, one governor of uh, Sichuan provinces, uh, province. So her name is, uh, his name is Ding Bao Zhen. Uh, that's the, it's reported like he invented this one. Um, this kind of a little bit spicy. As you can see, uh, close up did not see that it's the, you see a little bit oily, uh, oil on the bottom of the plate. So that's, that's the, the thing we get from Sichuan. A lot of the famous dishes uh, are from Sichuan province. So that's kind of a spicy mala kind of stuff. And uh, I'm gonna eat this now. And this one is supposed to be very good with, the, with rice. You can eat a lot of rice with this one new flavor and it's uh, you can see it's uh, supposed to be a uh, medium spicy it's a little bit spicy and a little bit sweet and uh, oily as well you can see um, the oil here but it's good it's tasty it's um it's very good. I can eat a lot of rice. So I'm gonna speed up the eating. Okay. You see, I finished the rice and also the plate. A little bit oil left here, look. And this time I use spoon, okay? The spoon help like to pick up those small pieces more efficient, you know. Whatever works for you, I think you can take it. For me, like spoon will help those small pieces. And another thing is, you have, uh, for me, when I'm eating, I'm planning as well. So a lot of thinking when you're eating. So like one bowl of rice and the rice is bland, not too much taste. But this Kung Pao chicken is like a treat. It's very, very, um, very tasty. And then you have, you're going to plan like when you are progressing on the rice, you I'm kind of calculating how much rice I have left, how much goody stuff, the tasty stuff, real, real treat left on the plate. So my goal is to finish the, the rice 
at the same time, when I finish the Kung Pao chicken, the dish, that's always my trick. Trick, always my thing. I would never waste any food. That's my thing. Never waste food. So, like somebody said before, woman is like a, a bottle of wine. Once you open the bottle, you gotta finish it. That's the thing I learned long time ago. But anyway, so my goal is to have the rice and this finish at the same time. But the bland rice and the tasty food, tasty dish, I need to somehow calculate how do they finish together. So if I have more rice left, I need to think about it. It'll be more rice mixed with something, you know. Uh, sometime I see more dish like this, I sometimes I eat only dish. Uh, you know, it's it's constant calculating in my mind. <laughs> That's how I do it. And uh, you see, like this one. And also, uh, this dish is uh, a perfect one for the country air. Uh, we need a, a country air from uh, this dish. If you don't know what is country air, you can I explained it in a, another video, like uh, when I introduced the um, twice cooked pork. So in that video, you can find the answer for country air. So I don't want to repeat it here. Overall, it's it's great dish actually. You may see different versions in different restaurants, but our version, I'm, I, I like it. And you, to be honest, like uh, the right one small bowl of rice is not uh, it's not a good ratio for this plate. I guess maybe I can eat two bowls of rice with this much um, dish, Kung Pao chicken. You got a lot of sauce, a uh, little bit spicy, a uh, little bit sweet side also. I, I see uh, we put a little bit of sugar this one. So that's a good thing. And uh, that's about the dish. Oh, and in last video, some I had the same T-shirt. Some people saying like big hole like this. Actually, it, it is a real hole, a uh, big hole. And uh, when I bought the T-shirt, is it did not come with this one. But over time, several ten years, I had this one, and it has a hole and several holes. I I think it's a fashion for me, so I don't mind it wearing it all the time. It's it's a fashion, uh, and also. Um, I want to keep the things. I don't want to change. You know, that's uh, as long as it's good for me. I don't want to change. It's like a tradition. I want to keep the tradition as well. So, uh, some place on our menu, it's like uh, this one. It's like very traditional one, but somehow it's very popular in North America. Maybe by the name, maybe by the taste. It's it's uh, very interesting. But we our version is good for um, like a uh, lot of. Uh, uh, Chinese customers and a lot of local customers as well. So this one is a, is a good one, but it's a traditional one. I don't think it's uh, westernized for our version. But uh, yeah, that's the, the real deal. And I, I like it, Kung Pao Chicken. Thank you for watching.